सो जाता हूँ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द लैटरल एरियाज ऑफ द पोस्टीरियर क्रेनियल फोसा एज वी कैन सी दैट दिस पोस्टीरियर क्रेनियल फोसा हैज अ मेस्ट्रॉइड पार्ट एंड दिस मेस्ट्रॉइड पार्ट इज ग्रूव्ड यू कैन सी हेयर दिस इज ग्रूव्ड एंड uh, इसमें आपको अच्छा नज़र आएगा या आपको अगर हम यहाँ दिखाएं जो मॉडल है उसके अंदर बहुत ही अच्छा नज़र आ रहा है कि ये एक बहुत ही ग्रूव्ड एरिया है मेस्ट्रॉइड पार्ट एंड अगर आप इसको क्लोजली ऑब्जर्व करें और अगर आपकी थोड़ी सी सेंस uh, काम कर रही हो इतना स्कल पढ़ने के बाद देन यू विल सी दैट इट इज़ एस शेप्ड या इट इज़ कर्व्ड एंड इट हाउस इज द सिगमोइड साइनस द सिगमोइड साइनस इज हाउस्ड इन दिस फोसा ऑफ द मेस्ट्रॉइड पार्ट एंड वेयर दिस मेस्ट्रॉइड पार्ट ये सूचर आपको नजर आ रहा होगा पेराइटल और मेस्ट्रॉयड के बीच में ये सूचर जहां पर आता है वहां पर सिगमोइड साइनस एंड एंड द ट्रांसफर साइनस बिगिन सो here also we can see that at this level the sigmoid sinus ends where the mastoid bone touches the parietal bone the sigmoid sinus its the brightness is not right here but yahan agar hum dekhe where there is where the mastoid bone touches the parietal bone the sigmoid sinus ends and the transverse sinus begins and there is also a foramen in this mastoid or a foramen bhi bahut low yield hai and it also gives a emissary vein to the sigmoid sinus there was another foramen condyle condylar foramen that was also giving an emissary vein to the sigmoid sinus so humne sigmoid sinus ki extent dekhi and we also saw that in the parietal part the transverse sinus is running laterally now we will see that there are uh, now we will uh, we are going to discuss the posterior part of the intracranial fossa and fortunately it is the last part of the intra uh, posterior cranial fossa and you can see that it has four depressions two are for cerebral hemisphere or occipital lobes and two are from two are for, for for the cerebellar hemispheres these are for cerebellar hemispheres these are for cerebral hemispheres which are the occipital lobes right occipital lobe and the left occipital lobe now a ridge is extending upwards from the occipital uh, from the foramen magnum to the occipital protuberance internal occipital protuberance a ridge is coming from the foramen magnum to the internal occipital protuberance and this ridge is known as the medial internal occipital crest this is the medial internal occipital crest and a very important structure is attached here and that is fox cerebellae the first we saw in the frontal crest which was attaching to the frontal crest was the fox cerebrae and here it is attaching the uh, dural folds that are attaching or the septa of dura mater that are attaching are the fox cerebellae and between this which is which i have colored as orange this orange thing that is running between the folds of the fox cerebellae is the occipital sinus now near the occipital protuberance internal occipital protuberance there is an internal occipital protuberance and you can see here it is the external occipital protuberance so internal occipital protuberance ke kareeb there is confluence of sinuses jab aap dural venous sinuses padhenge tab aap dekhenge ki there is a confluence of sinuses here the superior sagittal here straight sinus from here internal occipital here right transverse here left transverse here so there is a confluence of sinuses near the internal occipital protuberance and which is grooved bilaterally 
I am using the term it is grouped bilaterally from the internal occipital protuberance and it is giving two right and left transverse sinuses and the right transverse sinus is usually very uh, uh, is usually larger than that of the left transverse sinuses and it is occupying the cerebral hemispheres above and the cerebellar hemispheres below and this is all about the posterior cranial fossa